What's going on, over buddies? My name's Chris Williams, and what's that? No, Brent. Just as disappointing as Horizon. Way to go, Brent. Way to go, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. But if you don't know, you are watching the Overblood Community video thingy, your one-stop shop for everything Game Informer, where we cover the magazine, the website, the YouTube page, and last but certainly not least, the Game Informer community, better known as the Overblood Facebook page. Usually now, this is the part of the show where I go, Brent, here, do the topic of the week, and then he does it, and then we talk about it. But, no, Brent. So instead, let's cut to this week's guest, Isaiah Bailey, with his topic of the week. Take it away. Hey, River community, this is Isaiah, Katie, Jamie, Marlon, and David. We're here at the New York Meetup. Um, topic of the week is going to be favorite video game trilogies. So for mine, it's the Uncharted series. I just love the gameplay, the storytelling, and you know, just the emotion in it. I like a lot. Katie? Jack and Dexter. Oh my god. Jack and Dexter, why? Because Jack and Dexter, they're like <laughs> funny and stuff. Alright, Jamie? Arkham series, because Batman. <laughs> I love me some uh, Street Fighter, so I have to say Street Fighter Alpha uh, 1 through 3. Grew up with that series, so it's amazing. Uh, for me, Metroid Prime. Uh, Prime 1 is the best game of all time. Yes, it is. And 2 and 3 are just iterations of that, so you can't go wrong, really. And behind David's head is the Empire Chief. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, yeah, we're, have, we're having a ton of fun. There was a little mix-up earlier, but besides that, we're having We'd tons like of fun. We'd like to be more drunk, but... <laughs> yeah, we not He's everybody's too young. Right? Uh, but yeah, but yeah definitely um, a lot of those trilogies, you know, they're pretty cool. So, what trilogies can you think of? You know, it can be any kind of trilogy, and spin-offs don't count. Um, if you want to include something like Half-Life or uh, <laughs> something that released like Kingdom Hearts, that's fine. But it's, uh, you know, any gaming trilogy counts. And just remember, it's about continuing the story. What are you guys doing? We're working. We're working. Well, I'm working. I do it in a group. But... I do it in real life. Yeah, we're having fun. You should definitely come to one of these next time we have a, yeah. a meetup. They're pretty awesome. So until next time, guys, stay cool. Stay fresh. Isaiah Bailey, the Fresh Prince himself, dropping that trilogy knowledge along with the help of some homeless people I can only assume he found on the dirty streets of the Windy City itself, New York City. So, over buddies, favorite video game trilogies? Leave your comments down below. Let's have a discussion. And remember that anyone can be a part of the Overblood Community video thingy. All you have to do is message me on Facebook. I'd be more than happy to give you one of these segments I do. It's pretty easy. It's pretty cool. Be a celebrity. All right, now last week's topic of the week was about what you thought the game of the show for E3 was. So let's see what the community thought. Chris Cochin, Cockin, Chris Cockin, is that how you say it? I don't know. Uh, Chris Cockin said Horizon. All right. Uh, Simeon Moore, si this is the week, right? This is the week where everybody's names are weird. Simeon Moore said Horizon. Okay. Isaiah Bailey, this week's guest. You hear the voice crack? I was so excited I turned into a 12-year-old. Isaiah Bailey, game of the show. He said Horizon. All right. And uh, lastly, Adam Clark. He said Horizon. You're all banned. Now onto the thing that keeps the lights on, Game Informer. This week we had a replay of Mark Echo's Getting Up Contents Under Pressure. I remember being a little kid, and for whatever reason, this game was always catching my eye. I'd be flipping through Game Informer, Game Pro, Electronic Magazine Monthly. I, I was a fast reader, as you can see, and I would always see this game and go, this game looks great, I want to play it, and then reviews came in, and there were like sixes, and I went, never mind, not going to ask my dad to buy me that, but the replay uh, showed me what I was missing, 
And what I was missing was a game where if you combined, say, Jet Set Radio and Prince of Persia with a game that was really bad, you would get this. It's pretty awesome, right? Amazing. Amazing. Crazy. I'm drunk. Throwback joke. Now, um, on to the website, we did have an interesting article from Mr. Ben Reeves himself where he talked about Nintendo and why they don't give us the, uh, the sequels to games that we want. And I thought this was a pretty interesting article. You should definitely check it out. It's not as salty as the, uh, the title would make you believe. Um, it's just an interesting article about why, why Nintendo constantly is giving us the games that maybe we don't want. I know, I know, you oh, I love all the games! I know, you love them. Great. Maybe give some stuff, though, that more than 9 million people want to play. Just saying, just saying. Too much salt. Too much salt. Salt everywhere. Stupid. <laughs> well, guys, this has been the Overblood Community Video Thingy. Sorry these have been coming out at weird times lately. Um, starting next week, it will always be coming out on Monday night. So no matter what. Monday nights, this show is going to be going back to like it used to be, I promise. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. And of course, if you are watching, it only means one thing. You're awesome. Later, guys.